Oops. <laughs> nice. Oh. <laughs> we won't put that in there. Maybe we'll put that in the outreel. Yeah. On the table, Lego DC Super Heroes Batman App Controlled Batmobile. Set number 76112, 321 pieces. Smart device required, but not included. Oh, that stinks. Oh, we'll figure something out, Bat Skunk Squirrel. On the back of the box, things going on with this construction set. We have one Bluetooth hub, two motors, exclusive Batman minifigure, and a whole lot of coffee table stunts. Inside the box, bag of pieces one, bag of pieces two, bag three, wheel number one, wheel number two, wheel number three, and wheel four. There's our Bluetooth hub, and a couple motors. Oh, and of course, instructions. Let's app control this build. Constructed, we have the app-controlled Batmobile. For 321 pieces, not a bad build. I found it entertaining and a little bit different than your average Batmobile. Kind of Tumblr-like, I suppose. The Batmobile features four stud launchers up front, side-mounted rocket engines, a back that hides all the cords, awesome-looking Lego Bat elements all over the place, very thick all-terrain tires, and a removable cockpit with the Cape Crusader inside. Hey! Kind of wish it did have some sort of flip-out hinge motion with the cockpit, but that's kind of the case with many of the LEGO Batmobiles. So overall, a pretty fun build. However, 50% of this set is all about the app-controlled Batmobile. So let's try to figure that out. The Batmobile runs off the LEGO Powered Up app, available for most smart devices, and it looks like we have to choose from either City for possibly the trains, and, well, Batman. And a commercial. Looks like we're either loading up Bluetooth and or doing some hardware install. That'll take a few moments. And I think with that, we are loaded. We have some controls. I'm hearing some beeping noises. 
Oh, and it's moving. All right, so we probably shouldn't do any of these stunts just yet, as there is no room on the table. But by moving these controls up and down, I'm able to move the Batmobile back and forward pretty easily. There we go. By toggling the controls in different directions, I'm able to get it to rotate. Oh, sorry, Skunk Squirrel. For the most part, it's moving really well across the table, but I think we're going to have to have a little more room to show some things off. All right, we are outside with Special Squirrel Helper Benjamin and Special Squirrel Helper Anna, and we're gonna drive our Batmobile a little bit down a pathway and see how this goes outside. So give it a go, Ben, give it a forward press. It's coming right at me. We're starting to veer into the grass. And we're going backwards. <laughs> oh, it's after me. It's after me. Pretty good. Good controlling. Now we're going, oh, it's back. Going back forward again. Getting used to it. And into the grass. You'll notice some all-terrainness to it. Now Squirrel Helper Anna is working the controls. Let's go forward for a while and follow it. Can we go forward for a minute? You just keep going straight, you'll be right okay. No in it until it gets a little bit close. Walk faster backwards, it's gonna get you. <laughs> I tried not to get the close this time. I thought it died. There, like in the shade, you can see it really well, but in the sun, you can't really see it. Anymore. So cut the sun parts. Or like, you could speed this part of it up. See how far this Batmobile can drive. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't even see it anymore. Pretty good range. I know I didn't even see it anymore. It felt like I was like so far off. Sure. You got the camera on it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to try some of the tricks. That's when the Batmobile rears up, huh? Try it again. Do that first one where it goes up. Whoa. Nice. Okay, do the middle one. Is that the middle one? Yeah. It's kind of a rotation and then drive. We saw that when it drove off my table. All right, what's the third one do? Uh, I did it. Oh, you just did? Okay, that's the reverse and then turn. Very nice. Good work, Special Helper. Okay, Special Squirrel Helper Benjamin will also attempt to do some stunts. Press a button there, sir. Hmm, kind of like a wiggle. That was this one. That first one? Do that first one again. He like just wiggles a little bit. Okay, do that middle one. And that third one. Whoa! What is that? Try one more time. That's weird. All right. Let's try this one one more time. 
Nice. Good job, special helper. Look at this. Batman is driving forward. He's headed for the grass. Now he puts it in reverse and he heads for the more grass. Now he pauses for a moment and he rotates and he almost hits the grass. But then he goes backwards really fast and rotates. Then Batman, oh, he hits the grass. Go forward, there you go. Whoa, Batman, what is going on here? Good job, a little bit of bumpiness. Some light turning, Benjamin's doing some light turning actions, trying to figure out these controls. I don't know why they didn't make the controls just like your Batmobile Lego game, where one button goes forward and all that normal stuff. So like a. I have an idea. To do it is just um you have. So my my real Batman game is like when it starts, you have like a press button like on the left. It it, it makes you it hop. It it makes you jump and. This one, this on the right, it has like a steering wheel for you could turn or something. Right. And that's what you different and you don't have any tricks, just a jump. Totally. That's how it should have worked, huh? It goes, like jump up high and then it has little jumps where it goes up and then it drives around on the thing and at the end, there's a little thing where you have to throw and then at the guy, and then you can throw it, and then he'll, his car jumps, and then it'll fall down, he'll jump out, or fall down, and then, and then that good, the good guy of the super, superhero goes in the room, and then he, he drives away, and then throws his, his thing where he throws at the guy. I see, very interesting. Daddy, I think we should get going. Minute, minute, didn't. So, we are at the end of our trial outside run with the Batmobile. Runs pretty well. Takes a little adjustment to the controls. You gotta kinda know how to drive a tank. And that was our test drive of the app-controlled Batmobile outdoors. Controls fairly well, a little bit slow at times. I would have liked to have seen a little bit more out of the stunts. And if you notice, there is two control menus. This was the one I was working off that we started off with the video. Then there's this alternate control panel. Some of the stunts are similar, just slightly different. It felt just a little faster for some reason on this one. But both controls still need you to use both hands to go forward and backwards. I would have liked to have seen a more first person approach in the controls. Perhaps that is something they can roll out eventually in the app? Hard to say. Overall, fun build, fun toy to drive around, great for obstacles and all sorts of all-terrain stuff with those wheels. It works pretty well indoors too, driving over carpet pretty well. Where does Batman get his wonderful toys? From Lego, that's for sure. Lego app-controlled Batmobile arrives on store shelves. Fall 2018 runs approximately $100. Although I believe I found mine for less. If you are a big fan of Batman toys and gadgets, the app-controlled Batmobile is perfect for any toy room, office, and or dark back alley. Entertaining Batmobile build plus a app-controlled system make this for a perfect set. Just don't go too far down that dark alley, as the stud launchers only launch manual. That's what I have to say about that. Is there an app-controlled logo? Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe. And is there an app called Instagram? <laughs> I'm gonna get a gas. Bye, brother.